I, I, well, you cannot see it, but it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful. It is a summer night here in the collapse of everything on this gorgeous Wednesday night, July 3rd, 2024, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, settling down for the evening. It's, I think it's a little after 10 o'clock and uh, so you cannot see this outrageous lightning bug show. Uh, I guess there's some, in some places, they're saying that lightning bugs or fireflies, whatever you call these things, <clears throat> there's some sort of insect apocalypse going on. But here uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, it is really too bad, this camera. This is, this is an outrageous, over the top beautiful show and uh so absolutely glorious evening with thousands thousands of these lightning bugs blinking silently in the night and i have <clears throat> all of these people settling down in their tiny houses for their restful relaxing evening in nature and the and, and it's not even the fourth of july it's the third of july and in these in these clueless fucking morons I, I you know i'm out here in the middle of nowhere and these clueless morons already blowing off these fucking fireworks you know, there's there, there there's so much competition for uh, what holiday epitomizes why humans need to go extinct. Now, obviously, Christmas, uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve, well, Valentine's Day. Don't get me going. Uh, but at least here in good old America, it is the fucking 4th of July. Uh, th that th that just, just really epitomizes how fucked we are. That, uh... What do we do to celebrate war, basically? To, to celebrate war, well... Uh, no shit, Sherlock. We start blowing shit up. You know, there's this this incredible. I I, I mean, there's there's no way you guys can see what I am looking at right now. I, I mean, this what I am looking at is if. Uh, you know, if I was one of these uh, religious nuts, I, I mean, this is a gift from Choose Your Word. Just, just walking, just walking down the road, looking at this outrageous display, and uh, <laughs> and totally silent. That's what I love. Uh, about lightning bugs. I, I am looking right now, guys, at 10,000. 10,000 lightning bugs. And totally silent. Just this, uh, it, it is, uh, you know, it is, it is, well, it is a spiritual experience. This is, I am having a, a spiritual experience. Uh, 
with this and, and of course I am the only person out there. I mean I have you know so all of the my guests are settled into their time they're probably on the fucking internet right now they're probably doom scrolling I don't know what the fuck they're doing are, are they on fucking Netflix you know they, they come out here to be uh, you know to take a retreat into nature and, and they're barely out of their cars before they, uh, you know, before they're plugging into the goddamn internet. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> you know, they, they, they come to a place yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they come to a place called Bugs in a Jar Farm. And I tell everyone here this week, you know, at the absolute peak of this, uh, of, of this show, I tell everyone that, you know, the, the lightning bug show begins at 9.30. And they, oh, yeah, wait a minute. And, uh... So here it is now, I don't know, 10, 15. The lightning bug show is in full, in full display. And as far as I know, every one of my guests <laughs> are uh, watching Netflix or something uh, in their tiny house. Well, they're probably fucking is what they're probably doing. I, you know, I, I, I do tend to forget that, uh, that that some people still have sex, but I'm not going to not going to go down that wine. And uh, maybe my clueless moron neighbors have just maybe they were just testing out. So uh, but yeah, so tomorrow night. <laughs> and I, 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 I'm just already shuddering to think you, you know you can't see a single neighbor from me in any direction uh, any direction here at Bugs in a Jar Farm just 100% privacy from Clueless Morn as, as I was saying and these Clueless Morons and then uh, t t tomorrow night, I, y y you know, I can only imagine uh, what it's going to sound like up here. <clears throat> and then, of course, I don't know, are they having the big fireworks displays uh, in Candor? Who knows? I'm sure Ithaca and Owego and Binghamton and good God and all of this shit you're going to read uh, on Friday about the about what was the best fucking fireworks display. Uh, and then you get to read all of the stories which give me a little bit of a smile about clueless fucking morons blowing their goddamn hand off. Uh, I think there was some uh, explosion in some fireworks factory in some goddamn third world country uh, last week killing a bunch of goddamn clueless morons. You know, probably uh, just working uh, in these absolute slave conditions, uh, making a dollar a day, uh, making these goddamn fireworks, and that, that probably costs ten fucking dollars. You know, every time you hear one of these, uh, these things go off, and I'm just talking the, uh, you, you know, the, the small time ones that some clueless moron, uh, Easily dropped a $10 bill 
to listen to, to something uh, from China or the Philippines m m make a big noise. We, and, and meanwhile, uh, all around them, at least up here, is, is the single most outrageous uh, show on the planet. There, there, there is no more outrageous, magical show going on on this planet right now than what I am witnessing uh, walking down the street at, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, this is, is completely over the top. Uh, outrageous, gorgeous. And, uh, and, and, and my guess is 98% of my neighbors are completely oblivious to the fact. Well, I won't say completely oblivious. Okay, there. Uh, my guess is that 30 to 40 percent of my neighbors, uh, what they do is for about 90 seconds, they, uh, they look outside in their yard and go, wow, look at the lightning box. Look at those beautiful fireflies. And then uh, their goddamn show on Netflix comes on and uh, that's the end of the lightning bug show. And then they'll get in their fucking cars tomorrow. They'll get in their gas sucking cars tomorrow. And uh, they will drive to wherever uh, to go sit on a blanket uh, with with 10,000 other clueless fucking morons uh, w w w w you know watching shit blow up uh, you know indoctrinating their kids that the way we celebrate uh, that the way we celebrate America is blowing up shit that's exactly the way we celebrate this fucking shithole country. Blowing up shit. It's what we do. The rocket's red glare. The bombs bursting in air. That was fucking 1812. 212 years ago. There were, there were goddamn rockets and bombs and shit. Blowing up. Uh, You know, most people, uh, probably most Americans, but certainly most people outside of the U.S., they don't even understand that the Star Spangled Banner, this, uh, this ode to blowing up shit, uh, the rocket's red glare, bombs bursting in air. Uh, it wasn't even about the Revolutionary War. That, that's what's fucking hilarious about it was not even about the fucking Revolutionary War. The Star Spangled Banner was, was about some, I've, I've never really understood what this war was, the War of 1812. What, what, the, what, what the fuck does that mean? Like 30, what was that, 36 years uh, after uh, 4th of July, 1776, some, some little, I, I, I have no fucking clue what the War of 1812 uh, was about. Well, it was about what any other war was about. It had something to do with a resource war. Don't even know what the resources they were fighting over. And I, I don't even know uh, who the hell was fighting who. That is the, uh, uh, the war uh, that the Star Spangled Banner uh, is, uh, is talking about. But who gives a fuck?
A war is a war, right? Uh, and meanwhile, the war against this planet this goes on full tilt with all of these millions of clueless fucking morons blowing up shit, taking their dot goddamn little brats. They go cum in their fucking pants because something, something blows up in, in, in front of them. God, I hope uh, that I read some article tomorrow uh, about some fucking fireworks display blowing up, taking out about a thousand of these clueless fucking morons. You know, I never did. I mean, even when I was a kid, I, I, I mean, it was like, okay. And my guess is when I was a little kid that I was about as excited with uh, these, these fireworks displays as most of my friends were excited about lightning bugs. And, uh, Uh, anyway, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, people, when you're one of the, the few of us who, uh, who, who just really get it, how fucked we are? Just how fucked we are. And, and not just how fucked we are, uh, it, it's just how much we fucking deserve everything we have coming to us. In the, in the goddamn 4th of July is, is, is an absolute testament to uh, human stupidity. At least here in America, but every country's got their own 4th of July. <sighs> Celebrating some fucking war. Uh, some resource war. Killing a bunch of them. Killing a bunch of them, uh, whatevers. We just gotta kill some... Kill some more shit. Kill some more shit. Keep this empire rolling. Keep the empire rolling along. Ah, and unbelievably, these lightning bugs are still surviving in these little enclaves. Well, there is Scorpio on the rise. You know, that's one thing about living down in this hole. You guys can't see, you know, I live. This is called Shandaken Hollow. That's where I live. I live in Shandaken Hollow. And, uh... So I can't see Scorpio's tail. I see the top half of Scorpio. I see his head and his claws. But uh, being down here in this hole, I can't see Scorpio's tail and Scorpio's stinger. Scorpio has always been my favorite constellation. But, nope, all I can see is the top half of that scorpion rising up over the landscape. I don't know. 
something about that giant scorpion looming over this planet with his stinger getting ready to come down. Psst. Oh, Jesus. Will the lightning bugs survive humans? Okay. That is the question. Uh, after this mistake has been wiped off of this slate by Scorpio Stinger. <sighs> Will there be enough lightning bugs left after we drive ourselves into extinction to rebuild So, um, speaking of rebuilding after the collapse, uh, you know, I've once again I've invited Book Hermit to uh, come on the show and be interviewed to uh, explain to us exactly his view of things. But he, has, but Book Hermit has politely declined. So. Uh, <clears throat> I'm deciding whether uh, to make a video defending Book Hermit. We will send it out to my buddy Tommyist uh, <laughs> in in defense of Book Hermit. I, 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 you know, I've never met the man. Never met the man. Uh, never spoken to him. Uh, but my guess is, just just a guess, if, if, if Book Hermit were here tonight, more than any other person that I know would get it, this lightning bug show. Okay. He would, uh, he would get the metaphor. Oh. Uh, Anyway, my margarita is gone, so uh, I guess I will uh, call it a night as a vacation rental super host. I, I just got my super host status. Again, I got my, just a couple of hours ago, I, I got awarded my uh, super host status again. I have a perfect five star rating. Five star. There is no 4.9 star rating for this old doomer. So the old vacation rental super host is going to call it a night and wake up to the 4th of July, baby. The 4th of July. We're so fucked.